this is a suspension bridge in Gujarat of India which came falling down on 6.30 p.m. on Sunday which was the 31st of October which coincidentally also turns out to be Halloween. This video went viral all over the internet in a matter of hours and over 141 people have lost their lives due to the mistake of a few. But how did this happen? After all, bridges don't just collapse. I also later found out that the bridge in question had just gone through a few renovation works and had been standing there for well over a century. So that's also a point to keep in mind. They are meant to survive and withstand a lot of wind, people and weight. How did it collapse out of nowhere? In this video, we are going to explore why the bridge collapsed, how it did and the things that you definitely should not do at a suspension cable bridge. To understand how this happened, we need to analyze the video slowly. First of all, as we can see, the people in the bridge are swinging the bridge around. Now, to understand why this is so crucial to the fact how this came down, we need to understand frequency. Frequency is the number of times an event re reoccurs. In this case, the natural frequency of a bridge is estimated to be around like 2.2 hertz plus or minus a few millihertz. Now, in the case of this bridge, it's a suspension bridge, cable bridge in Morbi of Gujarat. Now, what happened is, in a suspended cable bridge, there is two pillars which are at either sides and a cable connecting them both. What happens is, if, if the frequency of the produ people that produced the frequency matches with the natural frequency of the bridge, then the bridge might shake very vigorously and then might even break down. This is the same principle that's used in baking glasses. You might have seen people that just break glass with the voice. That's because the frequency of the voice matches with the natural frequency of the glass. There's also a reason why troops, which are soldiers, j don't march when they are crossing a bridge. Because if they do and it coincidentally matches the frequency of the bridge, the bridge will start falling down. So what happened here is these few people started vigorously shaking the bridge and at one point the frequency might have matched and the bridge came falling down. So what can we learn from this? Well, first of all, this is not the first time that something like this has happened. In 1940, a bridge in USA, which is the uh, Tacoma Narrows Bridge, had fallen down due to moderate winds. Now, in this case, it was about the nature. There, there were high speed winds around 40 miles per hour. And due to that, the bridge had fallen, came, come, fallen down, which is it's all about the same principle frequency. So what can we learn from this? First of all, don't behave immaturely at a bridge. It's a public place and a single one of your actions could take the life of 100 others like in this case. The few people who had sh shook the bridge are now under investigation. I hope none of you ever make this mistake and if you do see someone doing that, stop them. Hope you learned something from this video and thanks for watching. Bye.